Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, as a follow up to the Levi home screen setup I released a few weeks back, I thought we'll do a deep dive into the ominous Total Launcher, starting by looking at a couple of the preset available themes and how we can customize our own home screen using the launcher. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And don't forget to submit your live wallpaper and home screen requests right from within the Epic Live Wallpaper app. Just head to the live section and then click on the request button. And remember to boost your favorite ones using both the heart and the booster buttons here. Now jumping right into it, unlike most of the other launches out there, Total has quite a few different Play Store themes available to it. So regardless of if you're a sci-fi, neo steampunk or even an anime fan, this launcher has you covered. And because it's fully customizable, you can always take one of these presets and add your own twist to them. And what makes things even better is the setup process for applying these preset themes. All you have to do is install the launcher and then the theme itself. And finally click open and that's it, the theme is instantly applied. Now that we have that out the way, let's take a look at the interface itself as well as a few of its customization options. Now right off the bat, the stock look of the launcher will look something like this, with big bold icons and home screen elements. At first glance to be honest, looking like nothing special. However, don't let that fool you, because there's a ton of customization options here, all neatly tucked away within its many different screens. So starting off, just simply long press on the home screen to access this customization menu, where you can not only alter the launcher's settings, but by clicking the edit button, you can customize the home screen itself. Starting with reorganizing the home screen pages, adding more or removing some of them, as well as changing up the backdrop, either by using a custom image or by applying a solid color for each one of your home screen pages. And because edit mode is still toggled on, on our home screens we'll see these interactive customization buttons. These are what will allow you to totally switch up your phone's look, allowing you to add in custom margins, panning and resizing, and even freely reposition each individual item themselves. Now at this point, you're probably thinking that it's exactly the same as any other launcher. However, this is where things get a bit more interesting. By using this menu at the bottom of the screen that appears anytime you interact with a home screen element, you can start layering not just widgets but any home screen items on top of each other, stacking them however you see fit. And if you want to take things even further, you can even add an element of 3D to your home screens, tilting and shifting the home screen elements in any direction that you want. And by using the top part of this menu, you can adjust both the action as well as the behavior of the home screen item. But before we look at an example of what we can do with this, as a quick side note, let's have a look at how we can add new items to our home screen. For this, simply click on the plus button in the top right corner and then select what kind of item you want to add in, whether it be an app layout, a widget or even a graphical item such as an image. Just make sure to take your time and check out the full list yourself. Now for those of you like me who run KWGT widgets, you can find it with your full list of widgets under the application widget section. And of course the setup and customization works exactly the same as on any other launcher. Now a major benefit of running Total Launcher are the animation options available within it, adding a totally dynamic element to your home screens. So here's a basic example of this that you can follow along to to help get you started adding animation to your home screens. So let's start by first heading into the graphic option and adding in a new image element to our home screens, which we're going to use to open a new window. In essence, we're going to build a slide out drawer, which we're going to use to house a few of our games. Now currently, when we tap on our new home screen item, it's going to open a blank page. Now here, once again using the plus button, we want to add in another image item. But this time, from the action list, we're going to select do nothing. And then let's simply customize its color. 
Now at this point, feel free to adjust its size, shape and positioning to however you want it to look. Next, let's add some animation to it. So with our shape selected, click on the gear icon and then swipe right to enter animations. Now here, we want to adjust the animation for both entering as well as exiting the screen. Additionally, feel free to play around with the animation effects. And to remove that white background, simply long press it and then hit that gear icon in the bottom right. And then simply remove the background as well as untick the shadow option. Now all that's left to do is add in more image items just as we did before but set them up to open up different apps. And make sure to apply the same animation settings to each one of the apps so they're aligned perfectly with the black backdrop. Now as a final tweak, let's change up the trigger icon's image. For this, we're once again going to head into the item's gear icon and here we're going to change the image section, loading in something from our phone's gallery. Now there's quite a lot to unpack here, so why not give it a go yourself and let me know what you guys think. Is this a launcher that you'd use? If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And before you leave, make sure to grab all of these custom live wallpapers from my very own custom creation app. Just simply head to the live video section and you'll find them all there. And remember, if you have any wallpaper suggestions of your own, make sure to let me know from right within the app itself and boost the ones that you want to see next. And make sure you check out my other Android customization videos. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.